Hey guys, today's subscriber shout out goes to Lexlick. Thank you for subscribing and being a subscriber. And today's commenter shout out goes to Control. Thank you for commenting and watching my videos. Now, let's get into the video. I know, I know, it has been so long since I have posted um, an episode to my Woo's World iceberg. I am so sorry. Anyway, this is tier three. Um, so far, I have posted tier one and two. So if you haven't seen those parts first, I will link the playlist in the description. I recommend watching those parts before this one. So let's start and get into tier three of the Woo's World iceberg. Woo's Guides was a program back in the old days where you could basically act as a moderator, but as a woozin, if that makes sense. You weren't an official moderator, but you did get a lot of perks and benefits, and you got to help run the community. According to the Woo's World Wiki, Woo's Guides are a group of people who are chosen to guide their Woozins. They are chosen from making an entry to Woo's World about their qualifications. Often, Woo's Guides are friended by the Woo's Band members and will have a blue chat bubble. The Woo's Guides are required to explore around Woo's World and act as moderators, but as Woozins. The Woo's Guides also unlock access to a unit where only Woo's Guides are allowed. Nowadays, Woo's Guides are not used anymore and that unit is gone. Woo's Guides couldn't ban you or anything crazy like that. Really, they were just there to maybe guide new players, answer questions, and sometimes even report things to actual Woo's World moderators. All Woo's Guides got an achievement, a blue chat bubble, access to a special unit that only they could go to, a trophy, a special sims, and a few other things, I'm sure, as well. In order to be a Woo's Guides, you had to go to this unit called Woo's Guides Center, I think it was called. This unit no longer exists, by the way. But you would go to this unit, click on a pod, and you would basically fill out an application, and I'm pretty sure you also had to take a few quizzes. And if you passed all the quizzes on safety and Woo's World just thought that you met all of their qualifications, you had a chance to become a Woo's Guide. Honestly, because of so many people applying, it was a really hard thing to do, so if Woo's World picked you as a Woo's Guide, you were really lucky. It was also rumored that Woo's Guides got paid in beaks or woos to be a Woo's Guide, but really, they didn't get paid anything at all. It was more like volunteer work. However, on February 2nd, 2016, Woo's World officially removed the Woo's Guides program, and all current Woo's Guides had all of their benefits taken away. However, they still kept the Woo's Guides achievement and sims and all that, but they could no longer report things to moderators so easily, and they didn't have the blue chat bubble anymore. I apologize for the horrible quality of this screenshot, but here's the official statement from Woo's World after they took out the Woo's Guides program. It says, Hi Woozins, today we have a special announcement to make regarding those who have helped new Woozins to become more comfortable in our world, the Woo's Guides. Our message to you is a very simple but very meaningful one. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment to making Woo's World a better place. Thank you for the help that you gave to each Woozin that asked for it. Thank you for inspiring and encouraging other Woozins to be helpful. Thank you for your great spirit. Just thank you. We were delighted to have you and we are so proud of you all. It warms our hearts knowing how many Woozins want to become Woo's Guides and take on all of these responsibilities. For this last reason, and for others, the Woo's Guides program will be ending. The Woo's World community is growing bigger each day and now it is everyone's commitment that we need. Each Woozin, new or old, can help to keep Woo's World running smoothly by simply offering a helping hand to someone who needs it. We rely on you, the Woozins, and will always value your commitment to Goodwill. Though the Woo's Guides program will be no more, we can assure you that we are working on a new program which will be better suited to Woo's World's ever-growing size. And, of course, we'll always be here. To close this chapter of Woo's World history in style, we will be organizing a Help Center design contest. The most active centers, the best designed centers, and the most useful centers will be showcased in our featured units. This will make them readily available to any Woozin who needs a helping hand. You can submit your units at iDesigns. Again, thank you so much to all of our hard-working Woo's Guides, past or present, and to all of you Woozins. Woo's World would not have become what it is today without you. Sincerely, your Woo's Band. There were a lot of theories as to why Woo's World removed this program. 
I mean, as you saw in the statement, they even said that one of the reasons that they were ending the program was because there were simply too many people applying. But they also said that there were a few other reasons as well, and that's what really got people thinking. Some people just said that the program wasn't going how they planned. And other people said that it was because some Woos Guides were really rude. And they were using the whole Woos Guides thing to their advantage. And they just weren't being a very good Woos Guides or doing a very good job at what they were supposed to be doing. There were quite a lot of videos about certain Woos Guides who were being very rude to people for no reason. And a lot of people thought that that's one of the reasons Woos World removed this program. Which, if that's true, that just really sucks. It really shows how one person can just ruin everything. Or not even one person, a few people. I believe there were 14 Woos Guides in total, and most of them do not play Woos World anymore because it was such a long time ago, but I do know for a fact, a few of them actually still play and are still active. One in particular is Cupcake37. She actually still plays Woos World. And back in the day when she was a Woos Guide, she actually had a YouTube channel where she would make videos about being a Woos Guide and answer questions about being a Woos Guide and stuff like that. I will link her channel in the description if anybody wants to go check it out. I really want to hear guys' opinions on the Woos Guides program. Do you agree with them ending it? Do you think that they should add it back? Do you understand why they took it away? Let me know what you guys think. Back in the day when you could actually physically see moderators, there were some times when they were caught doing things and saying things that they really shouldn't have been doing or saying. There are so many videos and screenshots of Woos World moderators back in the day saying cuss words, which is obviously really unprofessional. Some moderators were even caught having really inappropriate units that shouldn't even be on Woos World. And some mods were also, for some reason, involving themselves into Woosin's petty drama. Now keep in mind, I'm pretty sure moderators are whole adults that work at Woos World headquarters in Canada. So they were on Woos World supposed to be doing their job, which is moderating, and they were just involving themselves into kids' drama and fights instead of like banning people or kicking people or muting people. There is just a lot of stuff out there, um, especially on YouTube, of moderators just not doing a great job or just being really unprofessional. And I feel like it really isn't talked about enough anymore um, because I feel like a lot of people forgot about it since it was such a long time ago and you can't really physically see moderators anymore. They actually used to come into units and they had an orange chat bubble and you could actually talk to them. The key of Null was actually a really, really popular way to scam people. And not only was it a way to scam people, but it was a glitch. Obviously, Woos World has patched it and you can no longer scam with this because it was so long ago. I'm talking like 2012. Like, this scam was back when keys were still in Woos World. Like, when you could have keys to your unit so only certain people could go in and you could like lock it and stuff like that. Honestly, Woos World, if you're watching this, I really think that you should add keys back because... It would be really cool, we could like pay to like get into like events and stuff, we could like use them as tickets. How the scam went is basically you would put a clothing item in the trade, and this clothing item would be whatever the other person wanted. And then after you put the clothing item, you would actually remove it from the trade, and you would put a key to one of your units in the trade instead. The trade would glitch, and instead of showing a picture of the key, it would show a picture of the item that you put in the trade last time. Except, instead of the name being the name of the item, the name would be Key to Null. A lot of people fell for this somehow, including me. Um, yeah, I was such a gullible kid and I got scammed like that on Woos World when I was really, really young. Um, I think they took my panda hat and I was really upset about it. I remember telling the guy to give it back and he was just laughing at me. But yeah, that scam glitch thing was in Woos World for a pretty, pretty long time before they removed it. But luckily, you can no longer do it. Um, it's been out of the game for a really long time, like I said, but yeah, hopefully Woos World does bring keys back because I think that would be really cool. Now, listen up. Before I say anything, I would like to clarify, this is not confirmed. It was a rumor a while ago, so no one really knows for sure if this is true and this actually happened. I'm just clarifying that, that this is alleged. It is a rumor. There have been, there's been no evidence. It has been said that many years ago on Woos World, there was a moderator and her name was Violet. She also went by Mod214. 
Violet was a very nice moderator. Um, she was very well liked by the Woos World community because she was just a really nice person and she would hang out with Woosans a lot. Um, it was also rumored that she would give people free items and she even gave somebody a moderator trophy. Again, none of this is confirmed. This is all alleged. Violet would even vlog at Woo's World Headquarters and she would post it on their official YouTube channel. And she would even give random Woozins shoutouts. Apparently, Mod214 or Violet was fired for spending too much time with Woozins. I'm not sure if this is true because, I don't know, it just doesn't really seem like something Woo's World would do, like fire a mod for hanging out with the community too often. I mean, maybe I could kind of see why, but... I don't know, it was just a really big rumor that I heard a while ago, and I used to hear a lot of people talking about it, and someone recently brought it up to me and it took me way back. But yeah, again, let me repeat, this is all alleged, there is no proof or evidence of Violet getting fired or the reason she was fired. So this could be true, but it also could not be true. Back in the old days, there was yet another glitch that people would use to scam. It was known as the duplicating glitch or the cloning glitch. You could basically make it look like you had multiple of an item on your mannequins, even if you only had one of it. A lot of people would scam with this, especially if they had rare items like Dead Mouse. Basically, you would put your item or items on a mannequin, and then you would remove the mannequin from your unit. Then you would go to the mannequin in your inventory and completely empty it because that used to be a thing. Um, yeah, you could actually empty shot pods right in your inventory. And then you would place the mannequin back down where it was. For some reason, even though you emptied it, the items would still show on the mannequin, but they would also show in your inventory since you emptied it. So then you could drag the clothes from your inventory onto another mannequin and just repeat. And people would often use this to scam, like I said, and they would make it look like they had multiple of one item or items when they actually just had one. Thankfully, after a while, Woo's World ended up patching the glitch, so you couldn't use it to scam people anymore. And they made it so you can't even empty shot pods in your inventory anymore. I think that's all I have for Tier 3 of the Woo's World Iceberg. Stay tuned for part 4 because I'm planning for it to be coming pretty soon. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much and goodbye.